very good morning in the previous video we have been discussing about uh, the different uh, uh, the classes the objects uh, and the object oriented concepts the object oriented programming concepts the very important uh, the concept in uh, oops is inheritance so which we have seen already in the previous uh, sessions so i hope every everyone are very clear how to define a class and how to call and use an object and the inheritance so these three things are very clear and here in this video we are going to see about the polymorphism so what is the polymorphism the polymorphism which means poly already we know we have uh, uh, which means many not only one so uh, one or more that is what we call as a poly and morphism or uh, morphing means which behaves like someone okay the many different shapes we can have say for example a uh, little example we can say it's a chameleon so a chameleon is an animal which takes the color of that uh, animal uh, reptile chameleon it keeps changing depending upon the environment like the human being say like a, a person ye name of a person is uh, ye and ye behaves uh, as a student in the college and he behaves as an employer in the company he be he behaves as a son to the appearance he behaves as a friend uh, with the with his friends so, okay so ye takes the different forms and that is what uh, we call as the polymorphism of the person ye because he is taking the different forms likewise uh, how a method uh, can behave in different ways in different classes and that is what we call as the polymorphism we'll have a hands on session about how this polymorphism works all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a class a programmer yeah so a programmer is the name of the class so what normally a programmer does a programmer used to write some codes so i'm going to define a function with a name code and apart from that uh, i'm going to pass uh, an argument so what is that argument means you know uh, normally whenever a program he keeps uh, writing a code and that code has to be compiled so where he is going to type that code and where it is going to be compiled or interpreted we need an environment environment supporting that supports a programmer to write code and the same code can be compiled or interpreted and that environment uh, is what we call as a IDE integrated development environment and that is what we call as an IDLE in python so i am going to pass an argument named so argument named uh, the uh, idle so what is this idle idle dot execute so fine okay here is a question we have a question so what is this idle yeah so what is the data type of that idle idle is a data type uh, what, does it belong to a string or an integer or what kind of uh, what data type does the idle possess that is a trickling question here and apart from that we have an another method called execute so here we have an answer here so means this method the data type of this idle is going to be defined in this method execute which means execute method is going to define this idle so as the methodology the functionalities of idle will be defined in this method execute all right so for this example what i'm going to do is i have to going to create an another class okay so what is the name of that class because i am going to execute some codes and i am going to create an environment to execute a code as a programmer i want to execute my code and i am going to create an environment and name of that envi environment is what we call as in pycharm so pycharm is normally uh, which we have been working for uh, many sessions uh, to execute this python codes and i am going to define a method and that method name is execute yeah so execute so here what i'm going to print is so i have print functions and uh, it's a python's what the python python ide a python ide and uh, yeah mm. it is an python is an it is an interpreter it is an interpreter okay fine it is an interpreter so i have defined a class named pycharm and i have a method declared and that method have set of tools okay fine so when i execute this nothing happens because i didn't create any objects for the classes so now i'm going to create an object named p1 
for the class programmer because I'm going to execute that programmer class okay so when I execute this uh, no now see it will it, it doesn't show anything because I don't have I just created a method uh, an object for the programmer okay yes so now what I'm going to do is p1 dot it shows the code so with this object created p1 I can access uh, the method defined in the class programmer so when I execute this look here it shows me an error because what is that error I mean the code method is missing an argument idle because here I have two arguments self and idle so I didn't pass this idle here so that is an error so when I pass that idle here that is done let's see what error it shows again it shows IDLE so what is the meaning here the name idle is here yes absolutely because I haven't defined the idle so to whom this idle is belong to yeah what to whom I have created this object so that is never been defined so I'm not, now I'm going to define this method so idle is an object for the class PyCharm alright so now let's execute yes so it's been executed now the Python is an IDE and it is an interpreter yeah so now what we have done is that we have created uh, a programmer uh, class and that has a code which is supposed to execute and I have an ma uh, method execute okay and uh, idle is a what the object it is in development environment and I have created a class PyCharm that is an uh, what uh, the code development uh, developing environment that has been created now and uh, apart from so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create another class because I don't want this PyCharm I want my own environment so that environment can be a spider yes spider is in another environment okay by which I'm going to define and another function with a name execute okay yes so with this what I'm going to do is uh, I'm, uh, this spider should may not work like an PyCharm it may have uh, the auto corrections auto correction I can have uh, the auto correction okay and uh, error notification say normally everyone does for example I'm, to, I'm making you understand uh, error notification can be done in my own uh, the spider my own the console by which I can execute the programs okay fine so what I'm going to do now is uh, with the same uh, what the same um, yes object uh, which I've created for PyCharm I'm going to do uh, I have to same uh, method uh, for the uh, class uh, spider All right so now look here when I execute this program yes can you identify yeah so this is the new definition which I have for my IDE the new IDE spider which I have redefined it yes so what I've done here is uh, I've called the same object idle okay but uh, the behavioral attribute is different here in both the cases idle uses the same definition execute in both in PyCharm and spider it has the same method name but the behavior is different the both the cases the execute method looks with the same but the definitions are different the behavior is different the PyCharm's execute method is different and spiders execute method is different and this is called the polymorphism because the method execute behaves in one way in class spider and the same method execute in PyCharm behaves in and another way and this is what we call as the duct typing so what is that duct typing so duct typing is a one way of implementing or executing the polymorphism so what why do we call that as a duct typing because it's uh, something a creepy word why do we have that duct typing because you know nothing say like a, a bird which looks like a, a duck a bird which uh, quacks like duck a bird which uh, uh, walks like a duck we call that bird is look like a duck because the type is remote, uh, memorizing or recalling the same bird duck for that we say it is look like a duck so that is what we call as duck typing which copies the method 
okay the bird which may look like a duck but the behavioral attributes are different because as i told you the previously a person a the name of a person is a if he is, looks like b is an another person and a looks like b and b looks like a so both a and b are two different person okay they may look like a each other but they have some set of behavioral attributes the behavioral attributes of a is different and behavioral att attribute of b is different likewise the method defined in pycharm execute is different and method defined in spider execute is different so that is what we call as a, a duck typing so this is in one way of implementing the polymorphism the other ways of implementing the polymorphism or method overriding method overloading and operator overloading so we'll see the series of the polymorphism in the next video thank you